Hello and Assalamu alaikum everyone. My name is Osman Khaled Bhatt and today I'll be reading Prickly the Porcupine written by Nusrat Said, illustrated beautifully by Saleh Aghani and published by goread.pk which is an amazing initiative. So shall we begin? Prickly was a little porcupine and like all porcupines he had quills. His quills were sharp like thin needles sticking out of his back when he was worried or afraid his quill stood up ready to prick whoever came too close to him it was prickly's first day at animal school and he was a bit worried and when porcupines are worried or afraid their quills stand up he got to school with his mother by his side and saw many young animals there was a rabbit a fox a crocodile two cats and a parrot but much to prickly's surprise there were no other porcupines prickly wasn't so sure if school was a good idea after all ring the bell rang mr hoot an owl wearing large round glasses welcomed the new students Prickly's mother gave him a warm hug and said goodbye. "Welcome to animal school, Prickly," said Mr. Hoot. "Please take a seat. We are so excited to have you here." Prickly walked in slowly and sat next to Robo the rabbit. "Ouch," said Robo. and slid to the edge of the bench you poked me when the animals lined up to go to the library prickly accidentally bumped into fifi the fox ouch you're spiky said fifi loudly and scurried away now prickly was a porcupine and porcupines have quills and when porcupines are worried or afraid their quills stand up The animals at school had never met a porcupine before and didn't understand why he was hurting them. Poor Prickly didn't mean to poke anyone who sat next to him. He just couldn't help it. His quills got in the way. During recess, nobody wanted to play with Prickly. When the animals got back to class, no one wanted to sit next to him. Prickly would have to sit all by himself. "You're prickly," said everyone. That night, Prickly felt very sad. He lay awake in bed long past his bedtime. He told his mother what had happened in school and said he did not want to go back there ever again. "I I wish I could drop all my quills and have fluffy, feathery or leathery skin like the other animals," he told his mother. Prickly's mother was worried. School was important and she wanted him to enjoy it. But first, he had to stop breaking the other students. How could she help him? How could she Suddenly, she had an idea. She picked out a long roll of wool in Prickly's favorite color and stayed up all night knitting away. When morning came, Prickly dragged himself out of bed and slowly walked through the den. He knew his mother would make him go to school, and she did. But first, she gave him a surprise. Here's a soft blue shawl to cover your quills. Now you won't poke anyone at school," she said with a smile. "But remember to take off your shawl if you are ever in danger. Quills are useful to porcupines." So off went Prickly, wearing his beautiful new shawl. And it worked. He wasn't spiky anymore and soon became friends with the other animals in the class. Prickly was very happy to have made friends 
and began to smile and enjoy his day at school. At break time, the animals all went outside to play. It was a sunny day and they were having a great time together. Little did they know. A scary lion was passing by. He heard the animals playing and watched them quietly from behind the trees. Hmm. Whom should I eat for dinner today? thought the hungry lion as he licked his lips. When the animals saw the lion coming, they froze with fear. All the animals except Prickly the Porcupine. He stepped forward and threw off his soft blue shawl. His sharp pointy quill stood up. He looked the lion in the eye and said, Can I help you, Mr. Lion? The lion trembled and turned blue. Uh, no, uh, thank you, he mumbled. Uh, I was uh, just uh, walking by. <laughs> Pricky took one step forward. The lion took two steps back. Prickly took one more step forward. And the poor scared lion swung around and did not dare come near animal school ever again. All the animals clapped and cheered. Hooray, they cried. Prickly is a hero! Prickly is a hero! Hooray! Later that night, under a starry sky, Prickly looked proudly at his quills. He'd been so ashamed of before. Today, his quills had saved the day. The end.